Good morning. There's Mama. Ready. <laughs> and Dazzy. Dazzy. Good morning. <laughs> it's bright and early. We well, getting brighter every yeah. every second. Yeah. There. Ooh. Share the light. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Desi will get scared. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. Uh, we are just waiting for the bus so we can... We kick, the, kick the monstrous out of the back seat and send her to school. Woohoo! Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to kick her out and move on. So she's got to go to school and we are going to head back to the donor the donor outbuildings, I think that's what we were calling yeah. them, and go tear some more stuff down. It's gonna be exciting. And you guys, thank you so much for going over and checking out Graceful Acres on Facebook. They do not have a YouTube channel at this point, but go check them out on Facebook, give them a like. If you need a horse boarded in the Claremore area of Northeast Oklahoma, hit them up yes. on Facebook, send them a message, let's get this Get to help them get this ball rolling you yes. guys they're an awesome couple got three young boys out there they're all working their tails off yep. let's Try. help them out trying to get it all i think they're supposed to start taking in um like boarding um clients i think the end of this month is what they're shooting for oh wow so i think but yeah so yeah hit them up on facebook keep an eye on their schedules um give them a call uh, it's going to be awesome. And then uh, Grace is also raising goats. So, um, yeah, I think she's got Nigerian dwarf goats. Yeah. So that's going to be really good. That'll be a good thing, too, if you're in the market for goats. Hit yeah. them up as well. Um, but check them out on Facebook. And we will put their link again in the description below. And tell, let them know that we sent you, you yeah. know. Um, but anyway, we're just hanging out, waiting yeah. for the bus. We're headed for a day two. <laughs> day two, yes. <laughs> but we're going to get out there a lot earlier this time, so that way we can beat the heat a little bit, especially since we've got to be on the roof today. Yes. We're going to be on the roof, and uh, Rachel and I are both going to be up there, I think. We're going to try two, two men in that, those sheets of tin up there on the roof. We can get them stacked down and get it done a lot quicker that way. Hey, Mama, did you bring your gloves? <laughs> yes. Did you bring your sun hat? No. She said she was going to bring it. I told her, no, I'll <laughs> give you my cap so you don't ruin it. I'll give you this fancy hat to wear today. Oh, fancy. Brand new. No sweat stains in it or nothing. <laughs> well, oh. I, I have the broke-in ones. <laughs> I like the broke-in ones. I do, too. I'd rather use a, have a used hat than it's... Wongo and just collapses on my head. <laughs> here she is. Oh, bus is here. Woo bus so is coming around good. the corner at 40. Coming around the corner at 40. Happy, healthy. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Happy, healthy, and hydrated. There you go. <laughs> I will. Bye, Tessie. Bye, bye Love you. Love you. <laughs> Love y'all too on the Love YouTube you. fam. You better hurry up and go miss your bus. <laughs> Oh, look, she's wearing her gloves. <laughs> um, I was looking for Rusty, but he's already gone. I think we're going to start with getting up on the roof and finishing. Uh, Russ and I are going to finish taking those down, and then uh, we're going to go from there. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to take the little ice house. We just don't have a way to load it, and I think taking it apart piece by piece, um, I think we'd lose more tin than if we just, if we if we had a way to load it onto a trailer, we would do that, but we just don't have that um, resource right now. So I think we'll just take what we can as far as lumber and tin goes and go from there. There he is. I went and got us a big ladder. A big ladder. Oh, hey guys, just FYI, today is September 1st and it is, well, while we're recording, and it is Rusty and my 11th anniversary. 11 years, baby. 11 years. So we've been together for 13 years. We've lived together for 13 years, but we've been married 11 years today. <laughs> he said this morning, 
Sometimes it doesn't feel like 11 years. I said, sometimes it feels like 27. <laughs> no. And then he said, 50 long years. <laughs> We've taken the, the two buys that are good here. We know that are good, but a lot of them are like this. I mean, you can see that coming apart. That's no way no. So we're gonna leave those. Nick has told us multiple times, take as much or as little as we want. Uh, his big thing is with getting people to come and get this, it just makes his demolition costs go down, which is totally understandable more than happy to help him out with this because he is helping us out a lot with the material but i'm going to go ahead i've pulled a little bit of two buys out of this roof that i can get comfortably and valuably i guess i'm going to get up there's probably two or three stringers up there on the roof of the main barn i'm going to try to get those off there and then we're probably going to call this good we've got a lot of good material you guys we've got Two feet a foot of ten over there already all the way across on that trailer we are going to go ahead and get the rest of those two by fours but we did quit we did stop or pause on these because y'all there's this beautiful garden spider over here she is absolutely gorgeous and i wanted to help her out so i threw her a um he threw her a bone i threw her a um grasshopper and so 
she's having lunch so we decided to pause on taking these down so that she can finish her lunch she is absolutely gorgeous so we want her to be able to finish her lunch before we take the rest of these down um, as you can see here this tan is pretty worn so well one we don't have a ladder big enough to get up there and then we don't have anything to be able to take it down because that's that tan is see-through so we're just going to leave that tan and uh yeah uh like i said before we're going to have to pass on that awesome ice house that thing is really cool i really wish we could take that home but we just don't have the means right now so we're going to leave it for the next person maybe it can bless somebody else that'd be a good blessing yeah that'd make somebody an awesome chicken coop yeah a little chicken coop or you know something um nick did say we could take these burn barrels but i think we're going to go ahead and pass and leave those um because we do still have a lot of burn barrels out at the farm so and a lot of this stuff he's still going through like the you know the, the wagon, wagon and, the and the axle and stuff like that he said he's still kind of picking through what he can use out here so yeah i mean and you have to remember he's got three teenage boys they need stuff to, to piddle with and tinker <laughs> with now jamie with aurorix littlefield if you guys have never checked out her channel y'all need to go check her out they're doing some amazing stuff over there as well but she was in love with this jelly cabinet and i really like it but i just don't know it's attached and we can take it apart but i'm just not real sure if we're going to take it or not like rusty said we've about got a um trailer full already and to avoid having to come back out i don't know it's pretty awesome i did take a couple of little shelves that were just sitting out here but we got some cinder blocks too uh if you guys are following us you know that mama just bought a tiny house they're going to be delivering it next month so we're going to need some blocks so that's a blessing as well today, hopefully. hopefully so yeah let's let's finish this project up guys before it gets too hot it's already there <laughs> it's not bad <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit of tin on the bottom you can kind of see it over here better maybe lots of tin we went ahead and kept that door we can use it for the roof on something or another door again got some cinder blocks there none of them are full block not all of them are full cinder block 
but we did go ahead and take them. We've got these good eight by 12s. Those are awesome. I want to find about 10 more of those for mama's house. And then Rachel picked up these little shelves over here. We've got our lumber strapped, bunched, everything strapped down. We're going to ease back towards the farm. Good Lord willing, we'll get back with no incidents, just like we did the last trip. All right, you guys. So again, um, go check out Nick and Grace's uh, Facebook page. It is called Graceful Acres. They are going to do something amazing out here. We just yes. can't even wait to see it. And, um, you know, we were fully blessed with what we were able to take. And I'm sure he'll advertise it again if it's not still advertised and get somebody else out here to get blessed with a little bit more and uh but anyway i hope you guys like our videos if you do please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already yep share with your friends leave us some comments you guys we know there's a lot going on and ray just for, for you that's one heck of a car I can't even call that a car if you watched on our tree video. I call it my truck. V8 four wheel drive, it's a truck. <laughs> but most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. God bless. See ya.